Hi everyone, just want to do a quick tutorial on what I believe is to be the, the sort of main killer move for internal visuals. And what that is, is your floor textures. Now, you can see here the scene is relatively prepared. Um, and I've left the floor deliberately as white. I just want to demonstrate the impact that a good floor material has on this overall image. So I've got three textures ready. So if we start with the concrete texture. So if we just create new texture there, add that texture image, set the size to something like two meters. And with that loaded in, if we just apply that texture, straight away you can see the impact that it has. If we then add a keyword, something like marble, which is a keyword that Enscape recognizes, you can start to see that it looks quite polished. If we then use Enscape's specific um, material editor, you can then start to really add gloss to the floor. Now, whether you'd have this actual floor in a in an apartment is, a, is, a, is another another debate, but. What I'm trying to get across here is look at the impact that that's had on the image. Particularly a, a polished floor. If we're then to go in and add the bump. Probably just use the Maybe even that one, the ambient occlusion map. You can see just a little bit of texture over there. You can just see that little bit of texture now looks pretty realistic. And then if we add a reflection map, which will be the specular in this instance. You can then see how that has contributed to the image. Take the keyword off just to be sure. You can even add a, a, like a metallicness to it. Turn the specular down. There's a few settings here that you can play with just to you know to get it perfect basically. Um, so you can see that the 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 impact that the polished concrete has. If we then go and make um, let's say a, a tile floor, We need to then just replace those maps. See what the normal does to the bump. You can see there it's just adding a bit of relief to the joint lines. And then again, you can see what the floor is doing. If you take a, like quite a low angle like that, that floor is working wonders on the image. 
again you can have the roughness so it's not completely polished you can just see there with the the leg of the sofa just getting that lovely little bit of detail and then last but not least if we try a wooden floor Go for a nice grey herringbone plank. Just need to change the the bump map. Sorry, I didn't mean that. Click add. There we go, we've got a dedicated bump map in this one. And then look at that, look at that little bit of sheen there reflecting the chair. Absolutely brilliant. Just give it a sec, laptop isn't quite do many favours this evening. But anyway, you, you get you get the point. You get you get the gist of, of, of what I'm saying is that if you really work on a good floor texture, you've won half the battle. Let me just fade that off a touch. See what that's doing to the overall scene. This type of floor would be the floor that you'd end up using, I think. Like, look at that. The detail in that floor there. And I think because the floor is so convincing, it almost makes you assume as a viewer that the rest is, is convincing as well. I think that's a good little psychological trick. Again, look at that reflections in the TV there. Um, so yeah, that's it guys. Just wanted to demonstrate that, in my opinion, I think the the biggest move, obviously it's a collection of many, many moves, good modelling, good lighting and you know good general texture. And, but if I was to identify one key move, it would be to work just that bit harder on the floor texture. I think you'd be on to a winner. Next one.